Hey there, it's Christian from Rack Nerd. Today we are diving into another free hosting control panel tutorial, setting up CentOS web panel on Ulma Linux 8. If you're managing your own server for website hosting, then you're in for an absolute treat with this one. But before we jump in, make sure that you already have a VPS running Ulma Linux 8 and a domain name with your host name printed to your server IP to follow along with this tutorial. So if you're in the process of setting up your VPS hosting, check out our recent video on how to order VPS hosting at Rack also, make sure to go through our tutorial on how to point your domain to your server IP. It's a great starting point. Now let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so before we begin, let's quickly talk about the CentOS web panel. It is a powerful control panel designed to simplify server management specifically for hosting websites. Why would you consider using it? Well, CentOS web panel allows you to effortlessly manage various aspects of your server, from setting up your domains to handling email accounts and databases, etc. It's like having a robust toolkit at your fingertips for efficient server management. But one key benefit, it's one of the best free alternatives to cPanel or WHM. It offers advanced features like reseller hosting accounts and integration to some billing systems to automate the process with the user-friendly interface, making it a breeze for both beginners and seasoned veterans alike. And the best part is if you're on a budget, it's a great deal. Now here's the kicker, although CentOS web panel was initially designed for CentOS, it already supports other Red Hat distributions. Why is this important? Well, especially considering that CentOS is no longer supported in the future, CWP becomes a lifeline for those who want a user-friendly control panel for non-CentOS servers. Now, assuming that you've got your VPS with Ulma Linux 8 ready, let's go ahead, I'll share my screen and we'll dive into the installation process. Okay, so I'm on my screen here. So first things first, let's log into our server via SSH. I'm using my favorite SSH client, which is Bitvice but you are free to use any client of your choice. We also have a tutorial on how you can set up and use Bitvice, so just check them out on our channel if you're interested. Now, once logged in, let's go ahead and make sure that our server is up to date by running this command. By the way, you can check out the commands below in the description to follow along with me. So we need to set up a host name for our server. To do this, run the following command. Also, make sure you know how to point your DNS to your server IP along with your chosen host name or subdomain based on your domain registrar. In my case, I'm using nichewebsite.pro as my domain and server.nichewebsite.pro as my host name. All you need to do is add an A record under your domain with the chosen host name and point it to your server's IP. And optionally, you can do the same thing for the rest this might look different to you on your end if you're not using the same domain registrar that I am using at the moment, but it should be the same value. Just figure out how you can set it up on your registrar. If you're not familiar, I suggest that you contact your registrar support for that. But if you're a Racknerd customer and your domain is hosted with us, please review our tutorial as I mentioned earlier on how to point your domain to your server IP. Now let's go ahead and install some Linux tools and required packages for our CWP installation by running this command. Once again, let's update our system and reboot our server to apply the new packages that we just installed earlier by running this command. Once our server is ready, let's download and run CentOS Web Panel Installer by running these commands all at once. Just keep in mind that CWP Installer can run for more than 30 minutes because it needs to compile Apache and PHP from source. Also, I have customized the original installation command specific for Alma Linux 8 with PHP-FPM 7.4 version, currently the latest PHP version in CWP, along with Softaculous App Installer to streamline the script installation further in the server. So once the installation is complete, your server will be rebooted automatically. But before you close your terminal, make sure that you take down notes of your credentials. Now that your server is ready to go, go ahead and open your web browser and navigate to the correct URL. I'll put it on screen now. Finally, log in using the credentials provided during the installation, and if you successfully log in, then congratulations, you are now ready to use CWP for free and host unlimited users on a budget. And stay tuned for our featured videos where we will discuss in-depth tutorials on how to set up CWP for hosting WordPress sites, and maybe how you can use it to resell hosting services 
for your business. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide on how to install CentOS Web Panel on Alma Linux 8. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more video content like this, and don't forget to check out Racknerd.com for all your hosting needs. At Racknerd, you don't just get reliable hosting solutions tailored to your needs, you'll get access to a wide range of webmaster tutorials and resources that will make you a web hosting pro to your clients. And we always have your back here at Racknerd. So thank you for tuning in today. Until next time, talk soon.